Good day, everybody. Mr. Dolan here again. I'm going to show you how to do some of the electrical circuit stuff that we learned over about the past several days to a week. Um, two things really going to be looking at the voltage and how to measure those and how to tell what direction the current is going to flow. So, first off, a quick reminder when we say current with electricity, what we're actually talking about is amps. So when you say current, when it says like show the current in this button right here, we're talking amps or the flow of electricity, right? So there is our current. Remember the electricity flows out of the positive and into the negative. Well, <clears throat> what if you have batteries that we accidentally put one of them the wrong direction? Have you ever done that in a remote control where you have like say like on a remote control for your TV or even like your calculators, your graphing calculators, you ever accidentally put one of the batteries in backwards? How do you know? Like if you didn't realize you had done it, how would you know that it was backwards? Uh, and the reality is you might not. Um, and here's why. Think of the batteries as like an engine. They're pushing. They're pushing the electricity through the wires. They're giving it force. Okay. And if you have a battery that's accidentally flipped around, what it's actually doing is it's acting like it's pushing the other way. So then you get like this tug of war thing going on and you gotta figure out what is the overall voltage. So look at the circuit here. We know there's electricity flowing through it because we have light from our light bulb, right? And we have, oops, three batteries, one, two, three, they're all nine volts, and they all seem to be pointed to the right. We've got to look at that very carefully. They're not all pointed in the same direction, right? If we followed the flow, say from this first battery here, where would it come out of? Well, the flow, it's pushing out of the positive, positive being right there, and it's going to go follow the wires down, right? It's going to go all the way around until it gets into the light bulb and gets back to the negative, right? So we would say it has a clockwise flow. So look at this one. Same idea. Positive's there, same direction. Follows it around all the way back till it gets to the negative, right? When we look at this battery, it looks like it should be doing the same thing except for one small difference. It's on the bottom side of our circuit. If you think of the positive, the electricity has to flow out of the positive. And this one, it's going in the opposite direction. So looking here, here's our positive. It comes this way. Now notice how this is the opposite of what the other two batteries was doing. It's going counterclockwise. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means they're pushing against each other. Think about this, way back last semester, when we were doing forces, each of these batteries is giving nine volts. We're just going to call it nine volts of force. Okay. The top two batteries are pu pushing in the same direction. Well, what did we do to forces that were in the same direction? We added them together. So if I have two batteries going to the right or two arrows going to the right, we added their force. So what that means is these two batteries put together here and here, they have a combined force or combined voltage of 18 volts clockwise. All right? Well, what happens if we had another force but going in the opposite direction? Do you remember what we did? We subtracted. Okay? This battery in the bottom right corner here is actually pushing opposite of the others. And so we would subtract its voltage from the other two. So we got 18 going clockwise, nine going counterclockwise. So we take 18 minus nine, we'd have nine, and there's more force going clockwise. So we would say this circuit has nine volts of force going clockwise. Well, that's good. That's important for us. Okay. The other thing to realize is what does this look like as a schematic? So remember, our batteries here, 
This is the symbol for the battery where the longer line is the positive, shorter line is your negative, but just remember the positive, the electricity is flowing out of the positive and going around until we get to the negative. Same idea though, okay? We'd have 18 volts going this direction, right? And we'd have nine volts going in the opposite direction and that would subtract from each other. So, if that made sense to you, please give this video a thumbs up. That helps me to figure out if I'm doing good. If it doesn't make sense to you, leave a comment. Whatever comments you do leave, though, please make them constructive. Make them help me get better at doing this. So, much appreciated. 